a very short tutorial on making APA tables. Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you how to make APA tables in Microsoft Word. Uh, so the issue right now is that you can get them in SPSS, but they're usually pretty buggy and you have to adjust them anyway. So it's actually just a lot faster to make it directly in uh, Microsoft Word. So first thing you want to do is make sure you're in Times New Roman. Um, and then you can either make the table kind of through the shortcut here, or you can do table insert um, and then select the table option. Uh, so let's just, we'll just go through a practice here. I'll make it seven by four. Um, and then we get something like this. So the first uh, column is gonna be where we put our variable names and then we have our mean, standard deviation, um, min, max, uh, skew, and kurtosis, let's say. Uh, so first thing we wanna do is kind of give us a, ourselves enough space to write the variables out and then just kind of equally space the other things um, as much as possible. So once that's here, and then we want to center these ones. Um, and then we want to make the heading one just a little bit bigger than the other ones. And then we also want to bold the labels. Um, so what we would do here is we want to just make sure the alignment uh, is centered. And I actually fix this one so it still lines up to the left. And now we are ready to enter values. So I can put like fake variable one, and then, oh, sorry, we also want to make sure this is all centered. Um, and again, it's a good habit uh, just to if we go back to layout to make sure that everything is kind of centered within its variable. Um, and these ones will center, but still keep left justified. So I'm just putting fake numbers in here. Um, as I recall, keep two decimal points. Okay. Um, I don't know fake numbers, okay, and I will just copy and paste those same fake numbers here and same with our fake variable name, but I will change the numbers so they look like that. Okay, so generally speaking, you don't, you like you can do uh, double spaced through here or you can just make it a little bit bigger. Um, you, like I usually kind of do that and then once you equally space these um, under table layout, it'll just uh, make it look a little bit nicer. And then you need to get rid of all of the uh, inside. Uh, sorry, I lost my, there we are. Oops, what did I just do? Sorry, ignore that. Um, so we wanna get rid of all the borders. I find that's the easiest. Then I find selecting, and if you just add the bottom to that row, add the top, and then add the bottom to the whole thing, you have your APA table. and. What you would also want to add to this on the top is a title. Uh, so usually like table one, descriptive statistics, something like that. And again, make sure that is Times New Roman, uh, font size 12. And if you have any notes or anything, you would put them under here. So that is an APA table for continuous data. Um, now to show you how to make the categorical one. Uh, so this one, you only need two, you need a variable row and then you need the mean um, and uh, standard, uh, or sorry, not the mean standard deviation, the, you need the frequencies and the percentages. So this time, if we're making a table, we will do insert table. Uh, so this time we only need three, and again, it doesn't matter how many rows. Um, so this one doesn't need to be as wide, uh, so we can just do a bit of this, and then we can add, um, so here we'll have the number, and this will be the percentage. And uh, we'll put here that, um, or like frequency, and I'll just put that it represents number and then percentage. I can put it like this if I want. Um, and then here I want to merge these ones. So this is if you just want it to look like this. So you merge it and then you can put variables here. And then we start putting um, all our variables. So if we were to use Sex as an example here, we have female, male, and then we would put, these are fake numbers, but like maybe there was 45 and this corresponded to 25%. And then I know these, oh, sorry, that's not where we want to put that. We want to put it on this row. Um, and then same thing, I don't know, 25, and this is equal to 10%. I know those numbers don't make sense. And then you can put the total if you want, um, but you, if all the totals are the same, you can just put it at the bottom as a note and say that the totals apply to everyone. So what you want to do is your header variables look like this, bold all that, 
and then you want to make sure these are justified um, over to the right side and so keep in mind we want to keep everything centered so actually first what I'll do is center everything uh, then we're going to move this guy over to the left um, this one to the left keep these ones to the right um, and then if you want you can put a bit more space in here and then same thing here and then do that same thing where you equally space them we'll delete the last row and now we need to get rid of kind of all the unnecessary lines um, so what we'll do is take it all away I'm gonna add the top here and then I'm gonna add the bottom just for these ones and then I'm gonna add the bottom for this whole row and then the bottom for the entire uh, set so again, you can call this one table two, descriptive statistics. So obviously if you had more categories, you could add them all, um, but this is essentially uh, what it would look like. So there you have it, APA tables.